It's the OB and Anthony Show. 92.3 Free FM. Free FM. Ah, uh, good morning. You're checking out the OP and Anthony Show. <clears throat> Can't wait for that family challenge. <laughs> I'm just I like I just start thinking about things. I, and I was just a neurotic mess. Do you know that? Remember that song? And now I'm gonna open myself up because it's all I'm gonna hear. But remember the song that went um, um, like. John, John, Bobom, Bonana, Fana, Fofan, Fee, Fi, Boman, John, Lincoln, Lincoln, Bobinkin, Bonana, Fana, Fofan. It was like an old song back in the 60s. Okay, terrific. You don't remember that? How about douche, douche, boboosh? <laughs> shame, shame, shame. Yeah. Shame on you. It's, it's, what name about game. it? It's an old song. The name game. Do you got it? The name game it was called. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, play a little of it. Why? Just play a little. Remember this? It, it was the name game. I was a little kid. What are you trying to get grandpas to listen to our show? No! I was a little child at the time. And. Bo Bink and Bonana. All right, enough. But it, th there's, a, there's a part that says Tony, Tony, Boboni, Bonana, Fana, Fofoni, Fee, Fi, Momoni, Tony. And and I never liked being called Tony. I was that always my machine. I was always Anthony. I always wanted to be called Anthony. I was never a Tony. I didn't like the name Tony, even from a young age. So whenever that song would come on, I would start crying. <laughs> and and whoever was around, whatever adults were around, would turn it up. <laughs> because they found it hysterical that I cried at the name game song. <laughs> That's what I'd be yelling. Stop! No! I was a little wussy. Oh, yeah. Ants admitted it. Where's the Tony, Tony, Boboni part? And I can't hear the Tony, Tony, Boboni. What is it? Out of phase or something? You're out of phase, E Rock. All right. What do you got, always, You really want to talk about names there? Yeah. Aunt? My brother Scott is named after an, an astronaut, Scott Carpenter. Uh -huh. I've heard of him. The Mercury 7. Whereas I'm named after a fictional TV character. <laughs> you really want to play the family game against the Hughes boys? You are actually named after... Darren Stevens. Darren Stevens from, from Bewitched. Bewitched. What, the good one or the bad one? Yeah, which one? The non-gay one. That's all. <laughs> I'm admitting it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a little sensitive these days. Um, Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's uh, okay. Uh, but... Darren Stevens, the uh, the uh, uh, first one, the one that had emphysema. Yes. The, the one that wound up dying yes, of emphysema. The one who had some breathing problems. Yeah. Well, my mother was pregnant, and she used to watch Dr. Kildare, but I was born in the summer. It was a rerun. Mm -hmm. She had the nurse change the channel, because back then that's what you needed to do, and this new program was on, and she loved the name. And she never hesitated to tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> but Scott, who was born before him, only named after name an American, American <laughs> hero. <laughs> only a year before, too. I mean, Not an American wrong. hero, We're an icon, Mercury 7 astronaut. Yeah, my mom had a kid every 12 to 13 months. So, <laughs> yeah. we're, so we're very close in age. So Scott was born, named after a uh, yeah uh, an American hero. My brother Darren, named after a sitcom character. <laughs> <laughs> and then my brother Quinn, because uh, uh, Quinn Martin Quinn Productions. Martin Productions? Yes. Yeah, a Quinn Martin Production see, we were... recipe for murder. Act one. See, we were a TV family just like you, Aunt. A lot of TV. Yeah. When you're poor, that's all you can do. Watch a lot of TV. <laughs> watch a lot of TV and, and name watch your kids every, after it. Watch how everyone else is uh, living much better than you. I just, <laughs> I loved the TV because it just kept my parents... Uh, from fighting every so often. It was like a distraction. It was like this friggin' distraction that they had that uh, kept them from fighting every two seconds. Yeah. So it, a, a movie would come on, and it would uh, it would shut them up for a while. It would calm the savage beasts yeah, exactly. in your house. All right, where were we? So the where were we? The banana... We're going to play that the thing about... Oh, uh, banana fan of a funny. I was just right. mentioning what a wuss I was. Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll get into that. Weep openly. Uh, God, I can't get enough of the bikini babes. 
I can't get enough of this. Yeah, what, what the hell is this story? They, well, they figured out how to uh, bring babes into coffee land? <laughs> well, look, Starbucks pretty much taking over the world, and mm -hmm. uh, this coffee place uh, figured out a way to get their business up. <laughs> And it's just girls in very tiny bikini tops. Uh, think drive through. You drive up, and there's a girl, uh, well endowed or whatever. Well, all sorts of shapes and sizes in tiny little bikinis getting your coffee in the morning. Yeah. And this guy's just lining up before work to get a nice little peek and a nice cup of joe before they head off to the office. The best part is getting the milk put in it. <laughs> <laughs> I like my light. This sweet. Is very light, yeah. I think, we, I think we should start doing our radio show topless because topless gets, uh, gets uh, business flowing. I don't think it would have the same results here. No? No. Sure. As a matter of fact, I'm sure of it. Why don't we just try? All right, Iraq. Take that shirt off. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, of course. All right, here's the story. Hello. It's the coffee stand that attracts lots of men. Credit the coffee. Here you go. All right. Or credit the bikinis. Did you want a drink, too? I think it's a lot of fun, actually. What are they, like eight? I know. What the hell was that? On May 1st, this Mission Street coffee Helium stand. Helium coffee? coffee what <laughs> the hell was that? You know what I mean? Hey, you want a drink? All right, wait. Hold Coffee? On. You know, I didn't even realize we started something, but we did. Let's say hi to Samantha. Samantha, what's up? Uh-oh. <laughs> Gee, I wonder where this is going. <laughs> hi, Samantha. Uh, Sam? Hey. How you doing? What's up? Nothing much. You guys are talking about Darren. I was named after Samantha on the show, Bewitch. You were actually named after the character. It wasn't just a coincidence. Yes, Elizabeth Montgomery, her character, is named after the character. Are you a uh, single girl? Wow, look at that. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> Darren wants to ask you a question, Sam. <laughs> Are you a single girl, are you? No, I have a boyfriend. Oh, bummer. All right, Samantha. <laughs> what does uh, Esmeralda want? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's say hi to Jamie. Jamie, what's up? Hey, man, how you guys doing? Hey. Uh, I got your, I said your brother, I got him beat, man. I was named after a girl, a woman on a soap opera. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what... If we're going to go down this road, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, You're on to something here, Jamie, and I'll give you all the credit in the world. If we're going to go down this road, we want to hear the interesting ones. So you're named after a soap opera female character. Absolutely. Do you know which one it was and what soap it was? And why would your mom do that to you? What's that? Why would she do it? She liked the name. And what she was it? Know, she needed a J because uh, we're Jewish and you have to name after somebody who died. And they were the only other J was Jacob. Not that I could have the name Jacob. I don't know why. But she didn't like Jacob, but she liked Jamie. And now I'm a grown man with the name Jamie. Jamie, and and is it spell? How is that spelled? Oh, it's spelled. It's spelled like a guy, man. Come on. How is a guy spelled Jamie? Yeah, I don't even know how a guy spells Jamie. I know how my niece spells Jamie. Is it I E at the end? I E at the end. Oh no, that's a girl's. That's a girl's. Nah, that's a girl's name. That's a girl's name. Do you put a little heart over the eye? <laughs> You got a girl's name. Dude, I grew up in the seventies, and you guys know the remember the Bionic Woman. Yeah, yeah. remember her name? Uh -huh. Lindsay. Jamie. It was uh, uh Lindsay yeah. Wagner. Lindsay, Lindsey Wagner, Wagner, but her name on the show was Jamie. What? Jamie Summers. Jamie Summers. Yeah. Oh, you must have had a great time during those years. A uh, little known fact: my girlfriend is named after the Bionic Woman. Really? Yeah, but spelled so, in some weird hippie way <laughs> that I'm still trying to like remember because her parents were a bit uh, a bit hippie-ish. I always feel <laughs> weird when I write uh, an email to Ope and I say, say hi to Lindsay. Yeah. I don't know how to spell it. Yeah, it's, it's it. like, is it like an I, a Y? <laughs> it's, a, it's a little messed There's up. There's a P in there. I don't know what the hell. I don't know how to spell it. I've looked at her many times and said... So how much pot did your parents smoke, man? I don't know how many I times can't. I've hit backspace, backspace, <laughs> the girlfriend. <laughs> Say hi to the girl. L-Y-N-S, and I put four or five E's. <laughs> That's pretty close. You don't need. That's pretty close. All right, uh, uh, girl's name. He's gone. Girl's name is gone. Jamie. Let's say hi to Megan on Long Island. Megan. Are you a guy? <laughs> Fat of you, Megan. Thank you, Megan. Yeah, so anyway, I was named after Megan, the Australian girl on the Thornbirds. The Thornbirds? Oh, my God. It's not yeah. even a, a show that holds up to the No, it's not the time. Yeah. Like, people blurt out Bewitched. You know what they're talking about? The lot Bionic of, Woman. A lot of Brady Bunch coming in. The Thornbirds. Thornbirds. Yeah, I haven't even watched it. 
<laughs> Take it easy. Kenzie on line three. <laughs> <laughs> you know what sucks is, you know, as you go about your life, you meet people and, and they're named after, like, cool people or, or like, like American heroes or something and mm -hmm. you're just named after a sitcom character. My sister uh, Dawn was yeah. named after that song Dawn by a Frankie Valli. Uh, and, and she was going to be named Donna after the Richie Valens song, Donna. <laughs> I'm surprised you <laughs> put a lot of thought into that, Mom, <laughs> didn't you? Just just flip through the old radio dial. I'm surprised you named uh, Dawn after uh, an Ike Turner <laughs> song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the hell was going on in your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> River Deep Mountain High, you're late. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, that was a big fan of Ike Turner, huh? Well... <laughs> I don't know how much he actually physically no, uh, I, I, uh, touched my mother. I, I, or lo I like love her. your mom. I'm just joking. I honestly don't know. I know the plates were flying. He might have been delivering some right hooks. <laughs> I have no idea. But uh, all I know is uh, what I heard was just yelling all the time. All yelling. I'm in a house of yelling. Enough with the yelling. Hey, this. Why am I yelling? All right, we got a, We finally got a good one. Uh, Michelle in Jersey. Michelle. Yeah, hey guys, how are you doing? I was named after my father's ex-girlfriend in France. My mother had a different name picked out. She was going to call me Brooke. My father grabbed the nurse when she left the room and made her change the birth certificate. <laughs> to an ex-girlfriend's name? How ex pissed was your mother? Oh, please. Oh, please. This has caused decades of strife. Wow. What did you, what did, what did you say when he did that? What did I say? Well, yeah. not a uh, she said, wah, wah, wah. Did, you, did your mother used to go, I, oh, whore, it's time for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> she always called me Brooke. But she always called you Brooke, huh? Yeah. She called me Brooke, my father called me Michelle. Wow, that's heartless. And it's a little sick, too, on your father's part to name her, the daughter after an ex girlfriend. Yeah. Yeesh. The, 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 the creep. You guys are talking about family dynamics. Trust me, I can go on for hours. Yeah, I bet you got a few stories. Yeah, but hey, since I have you boys on the phone, can I ask you a quick question? Maybe, oh, maybe boy. not, and probably not. <laughs> but okay. give it a try. She got you. She actually hung up. Did she get me? Yeah, her 40-minute hang-up. Her big hang-up. That wasn't uh, anything. Hey, you got to give her an A for credit. Yeah. Let's go to Bruce in Jersey. Bruce. Hey, how you doing, guys? Hey. Hi. Uh, I uh, found out as uh, older in life that my brothers, I'm the youngest of three, uh, three older brothers, and they wanted to call me Freddie Flintstone. <laughs> my, my last name starts with an F also, so it would have been a very nice uh, uh, sounding name. Uh, my parents compromised and gave me my middle name is Fred. So your, your middle name, name is Fred. That's, even, that's Fred. even worse yeah. if you're named after a cartoon character. Yes. Oh, I mean, they just I, didn't care. I mean, it should be American Hero is cool. Sitcom right. character, eh, cartoon character. Yeah. Yeah. Fred, uh, so I have a, I have a different appreciation for the uh, Fred Flin Fred Flintstone comics now. My, my mother actually told me what I would have been named if I was a girl. Just recently, because we were talking about names and stuff, and she goes, "Oh, and if you were a girl, you would have been named this." And it like really kind of freaked me out because I thought, "God, just a quick little change in what happened." Please and say it was some stripper name like Mercedes. No, it was so another hard. one of these stupid names like Donna or something. Yeah. But I'd have just been some girl getting banged and <laughs> like, "Hey, hey, Donna," I'd have been Donna. <laughs> it would have sucked. You think you would have been a hot chick? No. I'd have been a slob. I've wondered. <laughs> I've wondered about that. I'm like, I no. wonder if I would have been a hot chick. <laughs> well, guys seem to find my sister attractive. Yeah. So she's... maybe I would have gotten lucky. Yeah, she's all right. You know, but hey, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's just uh, you know when 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 your mother tells you what you would have been named as a girl, it kind of conjures up this image of like, ew, that would have been really creepy because then you know what your name would have been. And you kind of think like eh, I had to, like I'd have had to take some of the stuff I do to girls. Yeah, what, a, what a rotten whore I would be! Oh. I'd be a size queen, and I'd cross all racial barriers. <laughs> Just everything. <laughs> Nothing would be off limits. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. Hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. Speaking of names, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on. 
going to take me a second. All right. Silence is good every once in a while. Every once in a while, you could take a breath. Why am I talking through the silence? Everybody do Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. No. Turn it off. No. Turn it off. No. I would cry in the old Rambler. <laughs> At the drive-in? Uh, uh, yes. I can't get it's it. horrible. Tony, Tony, Boboni. My name's not Tony. And I'd be like, I'm not Tony. They weren't talking to you. They were. <laughs> the radio was talking to me. And the adults were cruel. They turned it up Good. to watch me cry. I'll right, say hi to Lilla. Is this Lila? Lila. Lila. Hey. Lila. What, what's your name there from Long Island? Lila. Lila. Did you Lila. hear about? Yeah, you hear Lila. about? You hear about Joey and Amy uh, going out on a date last night? Joey and Amy? Um, no, I'm so I'm farther east. I'm out by Shelter <laughs> Island. Oh, you're way out there. All right, very way good. Now we'll get into the Joey and Amy thing. I thought that would be a nice segue. Little we'll segue, ah, Long Island. Go after oh, yourself and tell us what you connection. called for. <laughs> No, the reason I'm calling is I love your show. I drive to Southampton every day. It's a 45-minute commute, and you guys are on every morning. I'm listening to you. You're so funny. I love it. Thank you, Lila. Yeah, we want people to know that we're very funny. That is, that is true. So what do you got? So I'm going to your show at Mohegan Sun, June 30th. Pumped. I can't wait. I'm so excited to see you guys live. Yeah, it's um, a fun show to go see. Yeah. Absolutely. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing today? Good, we're having fun doing our radio program. Can you just call our cell phone for this? Yeah. <laughs> you know, how you doing? So, hell, I'll give you the number. We know about her commute. She's <laughs> right. asking how we're doing. Right. This is a great call there, Lila. No, thank you, Lila. We'll see yeah. you. All right. We'll see you at the... Thank you. We'll, we'll see you at the ONA uh, Child and Virus Comedy Tour. That was like all the annoyances of a girlfriend without the burden of sex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's not forget, tickets are available at uh, Ticketmaster.com. we got seven dates. What, what should we tell the people today? All the info's where there, E-Rock. Let's make it real easy today. But it's like seven or eight comedians that you know and love from the show, the ONA Village, the tailgating, the uh, the uh, the after hours where we hang out and, and uh, say hi to every single listener that went to the freaking show. It's <laughs> yeah. it's just an all-day thing. Uh, where's the info? MySpace.com slash virus tour. All right. The important thing is this. We already had we already did one date out there in Vegas. Let's not forget. forget. The next one is June 16th at Jones Beach. And we're very excited because Aunt and I are from Long Island, and we haven't done a gig on Long Island in years. It's been a while. And the tickets sure, yeah. are going fast for that date uh, particularly. I want to so. know, but like, I wish someone would call with ideas for the village and stuff. Cause they always do some weird stuff in the village. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't heard anything yet. I know they're doing stuff. Yeah, the uh, listeners come up with some really odd fun things to do in the village. Ooh. Who is that? Is my, it a text? My parents got in a fight because my dad wanted to name my brother Spartacus. Stop it. <laughs> Stop Get out it. Of here. Stop. Uh, Spartacus. Spartacus. Obviously, obviously someone close to me. I don't know how much how much uh, detail I could give out on this one. So uh so, uh... Your friend Ben Hur. Uh, yeah, right. So, so text me with uh, what I can say and what I can't. But it, it says, yeah, the, his parents got in a fight. Where is it? My parents got in a fight because my dad wanted to name my brother Spartacus. Spartacus. <laughs> How do you go through school and life with the name Spartacus? Especially if you're wimpy. Like, imagine being, like, you know, kind of sissy-ish. And, like, you know, like, you just have, like, that little talk. That little, like, that yeah. from, uh... Spartacus! Spartacus. <laughs> That's an awful thing to do to a child, man. You better be a man's man with Oh, God. Yeah. You're going to have to start working out at two <laughs> to just have the body you need to, to be Spartacus. Could you imagine you're fat? If you, you're fat and you're named Spartacus, it's like when you see... Um, uh, a woman that's walking down the street completely out of shape named like Portia or something like that. You kind of know if you're named Portia, you are gonna, you're going to end up on a pole pretty much. Yeah. And you got to be in great shape and you're getting implants. You're pretty much guiding your child through their life with certain names. And uh, things like, yeah, Spartacus. That's a rough one. Get the weights. Yeah, yeah that's uh, that's Yeah. Big fat kid eating an ice cream cone. And what's your name? Spartacus. Party. Really? <laughs> All right, we'll continue. we got to take a quick break here. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the Opie and Anthony Show on 92.3 FM. 
Good morning. Good morning, 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 good morning. I'm trying to say don't have to do it to everybody. I'm trying though. Good morning, 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 good morning. Good morning. It goes out. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It goes out to everybody at once. Ah, it's a car with four of them. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. No, it goes out to everybody at the same time. Good morning, 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 good morning. It's not at all necessary. You learn in broadcasting school that you gotta like talk to the individuals. So good morning, 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 good morning. There you go. Time everybody. A million and a half. Oh, I had to pound down that fruit. Hey, uh, didn't sound good. We're trying to move <laughs> on. <but laughs> I said I had to. I get melon every morning, and I had to eat it very quickly. I I'm amazed I that you're sitting down. <laughs> shouldn't have said it that way, but okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, Ken in New York, what's up? Hey, how you doing? I got hey. a friend of mine. I got a friend of mine who named all three of his boys after the alter egos of superheroes. Like what? One is the one is the Flash. One is Hawkman. I think the other one might be one of the Green Lanterns. But, but he named them the regular guy names for for those guys. Like if it was uh, Spider Man, it would be Peter Parker. That's right. That's the only one I know. By <laughs> Peter life. Parker, Clark Kent yeah, would yeah, be Clark Superman. Sure. I'm a I'm a hack. I just know the the basic easy ones everyone knows. David Banner. Yeah. David Banner. Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Yes. Dick Grayson. Um, Greg Robin. Alfred, the butler. <laughs> I'd name your kid Alfred. Oh, that would be great. Your six-year-old named Alfred. Ben Grimley. Who is that? Uh-huh, exactly. Oh, <laughs> freaking us. No, no. It's is that mystery thing. man? Is it? Iron no, but you, is it? Is it? Uh, Sometimes you lie to me. You didn't look, you see me the face. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea. All right, let's go to Linda in Philly. Linda, because we want to move on to the, the topless <laughs> coffee shop finally. Linda, what's Ooh. up? Hey, how you doing? Hey, make it fast. We're in a speed round now. Okay. Um, my mother wanted to name me Lisa Renee. My father said it sounded like a French whore. My dad wanted Donna. They combined it and got Linda. And then 14 months later, my sister, the French whore, was born. <laughs> they went with the French whore name? Lisa Renee. <laughs> hey, that's, 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 she better be hot. <laughs> Lisa Renee, you got to be a hot broad. Not really. <laughs> oh, boy. oh, boy. All right. Thank you, Linda. All right. <laughs> Let's go to Mike on Long Island. Mike, what's up? Yo, what's up, sickos? Hey. Hey, I know that Linda chick. She's not hot, but she puts out. <laughs> How do you know her? He just I'm gonna make this quick. He right. just sounded um, like everybody from Long Island. Yeah. <laughs> God bless you, man. All right. Some idiot I know. His dad's really stupid. He named him Ford, his brother Dodge, and his sister Shelby. Stop it. Uh, after cars, obviously. Where in my life? Uh. And I got a couple of handful of whores that I used to hang out with. I got <laughs> Mary, Melody, Happy, Cloud, because her parents were hippies, and uh, I forgot what the other one was. I knew a Mary in school. Girl named Mary. I bet you Cloud is always sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> Cloud. I'm Cloud. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. How many kids are going to be named Francus because of Jimmy? Yeah, I hope so. I hope we've influenced some. I hope we left a mark yeah. somehow uh, on people where they've named their children after well, no, something to do with this program. They haven't made that uh, leap yet, but we're named after pets. I know that. Pets? You think oh, yeah. Fran named, little Francus is... They name their pets after stuff on the show. And spell it right. It's F six R's <laughs> U N K I S. Exclamation point. <laughs> Frankus. You think Cloud is on the verge of tears? All the time. I'm Cloud. What's your name? What's the matter, young lady? <laughs> right. Nothing. What's your name? Cloud. <laughs> oh, you're Cloud. Hey, let's say hi to Dawn in Chicago. Dawn, what's up? Hi, I was going to tell you, uh, my sister, my mom was in a store, and she was looking at douches, and she... She's Wor working there. <laughs> I know how she feels. I've been in that store. You got horrible service. <laughs> and she, um, she, she saw a name on a box, and she's like, "Oh, that's a nice name." And I like the spelling. What's your name? Eve. My sister's name. Yeah. Yes. What is it? Janine. Oh. Janine. Janine. Yeah. There's a brand named Janine. 
I, I, in the 60s, I guess I was. Never Janine. heard of that. Yeah, Ladies, you need Janine. <laughs> what? Do you? <laughs> I've never heard of the Janine. I heard Summer's Eve. Uh, Mass and Gill. We'll do one Premixed, more. pre-measured, and disposable is what I remember from the commercial. And, and everyone great. questioned why you would keep it. That was an old <laughs> hack joke from the 80s. It's like, it's Mass and Gill. It's pre-mixed, pre-measured, disposable. Who's keeping it? Ha <laughs> <laughs> people. It's a douche joke. <laughs> yeah, we get it. Uh, let's say hi it's to... brick wall behind you, ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the 80s. Yeah. yeah. Oscar. Hey, how you guys doing? What's up, Owen? Hey, little Jimmy Norton. Hello, fella. Uh, I think I got everyone beat. At least you guys weren't named after Oscar from Sesame Street because your mother liked... <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say the odd couple, but he's Oscar, Oscar the, the Grouch, Grouch from Sesame Street. I got you beat, oh, dude. dude. Do you yeah. know my middle name is? No. Snuffleupagus. <laughs> <laughs> You're Jim Snuffleupagus Norton? James Snuffleupagus Norton. <laughs> That's an awful middle name. All right, uh, Jimmy in uh, New York, trying to move on here, but they're, they're still coming in strong with some good ones. Jimmy, Jimmy, what's up? Hello? Yeah. Yes. Who's on my singlet? Uh, uh, Opie, Anthony, Jim Norton, everybody else. What's up? Oh, how you doing? No, I wanted to say that my father had a really funny thing. He named us after superhero, the superhero sidekick. My name is Jimmy Olsen. My sister's name is Lois Lane Olsen, and his name is Thor. Stop it. I, I, it's hard to now, believe you. I know it's time to end the bit yeah, yeah. when people start calling in with the likes of that ilk. Yeah. All right, let's go to <laughs> my girlfriend, Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's end with... Oh, they hung up. All right, and that was a good one. Whatever. You'll never know now. Uh, let's go to uh, Topless Coffee Shop, finally. Mm. Went off on a little tangent there. We are unscripted. You just never know where we're going with this oh. show. Uh... And we go off on tangents is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so it could take hours to get to something, which this is an, an example of. <laughs> Finally, yes, uh, someone has figured out how to compete with Starbucks. Hello? It's the coffee stand that attracts lots of men. Credit the coffee. There you go. All right. Or credit the bikinis. Did you want a drink, too? I think it's a lot of fun, actually. I like it. <laughs> On May 1st, this Mission Street coffee stand called Coffee Nation decided to take it off and have baristas don bikini tops. Well, I was like, um, this might be kind of weird, but it's actually been so much fun, and I won't lie, it's really helped with the tips. From $25 a day in tips per girl to $80. <laughs> Goddamn guys, man. God bless you. You know, it just goes to show you. That uh, says it all right there. Sex Sex 25 sell. bucks to 80 bucks. From 25 to 80, they might as well just say from A cups to C cups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that how they sell their coffee? I'll have a D cup of uh, uh, <laughs> D cup espresso. Yeah, uh, with extra foam. <laughs> I need foam. That's hysterical. It is, of course. Sex if sells. you go we into a coffee it. shop yeah. where there's some hot girl in a bikini top. Normally, you would just maybe throw your change in there or whatever if you get a coffee at Starbucks. Yeah. You know? Now you're making a concerted effort to take money out <laughs> and impress the girl by going like, hey, nice. Because you're kind of just yeah, hoping. Shove it down her top. <laughs> you're just trying to <laughs> no. hope. You're hoping Thank and hoping. Thank you. Thank you. Can I help you? That voice. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up and get me my coffee. That's great. Isn't that 80 wonderful? bucks. Isn't that great? <laughs> Per girl to 80. Who would you give bigger tips to, me or her? Oh, whoa, oh, hey, whoa! I almost hit the dump button there, kids. <laughs> bigger tips. That's what I heard. You know something? Whoa. It's amazing how quickly the mind works. Because I heard the beginning of that word. That word lasted how long? A fraction of a second. Yet I thought we were in trouble. From $25 a day in tips per girl to 80 <laughs> Who would you give bigger tips to, me or her? Her. <laughs> What's wrong with my suit? Proof that skin sells. Although I work at a car dealership, so you've got 30 guys that are all like, hey, let's go to that bikini coffee place. Let's go to the bikini coffee place. But it wasn't always this bear at Coffee Nation. Up until three weeks ago, workers wore shirts. All right, here's the problem with the whole thing, though. Because uh, more of these shops are, are, are popping up uh, across America. Popping up. There's not enough talent. Yeah. That's what happened with Hooters. 
<laughs> not enough talent. Oh my God! You know, you go to Manhattan. There's a wonderful Hooters, right? You go. Yeah. To, it started in Florida. The, you you would go and search out the Hooters, and then they open up a Hooters out there on Long Island in the middle of like I forgot what town. Mm. It's like, oof, the town is uh, a little thin. Get, yeah. <laughs> it's a little watered down at this point. Get way out there. See, if they keep it right at this level, you're going to see just really hot girls serving you the coffee. If this yeah. continues, this trend, oh boy. You can't water down <laughs> oh the uh, talent. Yep, oh. yep. Got to keep the talent up. I'm sick of the hot chicks. I want to open a place called Fatso's. <laughs> <laughs> and all the girls have to wear bikinis, and you can't get hired unless you're 350 or up. <laughs> you have to be a, just a disaster. <laughs> Yeah, it's like uh, the major leagues. There's not a lot of left-handed <laughs> relievers after a while. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta you gotta recognize the talent and not water it down. Yeah. Well, this guy, I'm sure, is gonna try to like franchise. It's called Coffee Nation, I guess, and mm-hmm. get it all over America. But he's gonna realize, oh boy, oh boy, and then oh. he's he's gonna have to drop his standards to you know to fill up these uh, these coffee shops yep. with the girls. Yeah. All right, we got a little more on this. I'm sorry, I'm distracted watching the Olsen twins do a photo shoot. Yeah. Enough of these two junkies. What? <laughs> junkies? Yuck. Yeah, not a big fan. Remember when the big countdown was on? Yeah. To when the Olsen twins oh, were going to be legal? What the a big second they crossed the line of legality, something happened. I know, it was the longest 11 year countdown of my life. <laughs> they're all fidgets. <laughs> they're, they're both fidgets. They're like, they don't. They didn't grow like into these uh, women we thought they were going to grow into. Right, right. Hey, I mean, we could talk about that, but we got two really good calls here. Flea oh, Man. yeah. Flea Man, what's up? Go ahead. Hey, how long until Stalker Patty starts working at this coffee Yeah, shop? see, that's exactly what we're getting at. Right now, you got the hot shade. Oh, God. Uh, looking really good in their bathing suits, and eventually they're going to have to, like, accept uh, Stalker Patty at one of these places. Yeah, at first you get, thank you, turn around here, what do you want? And then, hi, can I help you? <laughs> I'm Patty, I'm wearing my bikini top. <laughs> no, although she would, like we said before, she dressed in one of those, like, 1918 right. women at Coney Island uh, <laughs> bathing suits. All the girls are counting their tips at the end of the day, and the, the hot babes are just counting... One hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars today, and that Patty's like, I made seventy five cents. You just hear change hit the table, like you tell Ty Webb I'm gunning for him. Right. <laughs> That's how Patty gets tipped. Clink, 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 clink. Falls off the counter on the floor. She has to pick it up. Well, somebody gave me a $5 tip, and that's all she has, 5 bucks. These other women are counting out hundreds. <laughs> oh. Driving up in Porsches and stuff. And yeah. There's, there's Patty still taking the bus. Taking the bus. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, Patty gets out of the bus. Ready, yeah. ready for work. I got my bathing. She's wearing a bathing cap. <laughs> right. Keep her hair dry. <laughs> What an awful, what an awful bit of humanity she is. Uh, they tell me to look a little sexy. Oh, my God, that is funny. They all have nice cars. She used to ride home in that bag that hangs behind the horse. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's what happens, though. The town's going to get watered yeah. down in these places. Let's say hi to Eric in Queens. Eric, what's up? Hey, that first clip you played sounds like it's more like a progeria coffee shop. <laughs> progeria kid coffee shop? Oh, well, yeah. Let's just Those again. kids that uh, are like 90 years old, they've aged 90 years in like five years. Some great observations. Listen to the voice. Hello. It's the coffee stand that attracts lots of men. Credit the coffee. Just... There you go. All right. Or credit the bikinis. Did you want a drink, too? Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Well, Maury, I'm just a kid. I like uh, to play baseball and serve coffee. I got a job at the Coffee Nation. I got a job at Coffee Nation, even though I'm just uh, 10 years old. But, you know, at the Progeria, I, I aged. I'm, I'm at like 85 years old now. So I'm trying to go through my life the best I can. But I'm just a regular kid. Um, yeah. I like skateboarding. And- yeah, yeah. Now we'll just sit and watch um watch the veins pulse in my head. You're a great inspiration to everybody. Thank you, Maury. Thank you, Maury, for bringing us all on and parading us around like a freak show. We all know that's what you're doing. No, I'm helping. I'm helping the children here. Maury, just don't f- on my back and tell me it's raining. Because uh, I'm on to you, Maury. Everybody is. Why yeah. do you think you have the, uh, what? Look, tell me something, Mari. Uh, you bring progeria kids on like me, and I'm just a regular kid, even though I look like I'm 95 years old. 
Why did you have the fattest kid in the world, who's um, two years old and weighs 180 pounds, uh, why did you have him wear a diaper and walk out on stage? Marty, question? And, Answer, and please? Don't, don't forget the buffet was there, too, for the kid. Marty, why did you have a buffet for the little kid, the fat kid? If you were truly helping him. I wanted to show how much this child eats and how wrong it is. Yeah, okay, Marty, you're full of <laughs> and we all know it. I'm a little kid, but I get to talk like an adult because I'm 85 I in wish, real years. I wish I could do the voice. Cause, oh, yeah. oh, boy, here comes the, uh, the, the the boy band that no one cares about. Yeah, that'll, yeah. that'll help my situation. Now, I, you know you know who we, we got a little surprise for you today. Do you, Marty? Do yeah. you? Yeah. We're going to bring out the hottest boy band on the, around the nation. Let's bring out Boy Express. <laughs> right. Boy <laughs> Express? Who the f*** are they, Marty? Boy Express? <laughs> it's always some boy man no one heard of. I've been around for 85 sort of years. And also, one lousy song from them is going to make everything okay with the Progeria kid or the or the 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 uh, the, the what are the dwarfs the uh, the primordial yeah, yeah. primordial dwarf primordial dwarf that's going to make the kid's life okay. One song from a band known as yeah. Love. We heard your favorite band ever is the downtowns. <laughs> what? And there's this poor girl sitting there that's like had her jaw put back on backwards and she's sitting there going, no, I never heard of these kids. We couldn't get any of the real boy bands. God damn, Maury. We love them. Hey, I'm more on the coffee uh, shop before we take a break. The owners of Coffee Nation say they were forced to go to baristas in bikinis after the city installed this median, keeping cars from making a left turn into the coffee shop. Since people can't get to us easily, we need to figure out a reason for them to get to us because they want to. Three rights that decision make a left. has doubled business. My wife's okay with it. Well, I came here for the coffee. It's a great concept. I wish I would have thought of it first. Do you ever feel exploited doing this? Like Travis. No, no, not at all. I mean, it's nothing. It's not like you would see any different at the beach or something. Yeah, see? Wouldn't see anything different at the beach. So you should be able to go into your office in a bikini. I love the guy who goes, I come here for the coffee. Oh, come God. Here for coffee. Really, I do. Please. Oh, please, please. But is my wife going to say this? <laughs> It's like that honeymoon is episode. I'm the king of my castle. And he gets home, he gets in trouble. <laughs> He's going, I come here for the coffee. I swear I do. His eyes are shifting back and forth. He's looking right down her cleavage. I come here for the coffee. <laughs> I come here for the... <laughs> no, the coffee. Oh, <laughs> why did I thank the... <laughs> oh, God. Could you edit this, please? I got a wife at home. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I come here for the coffee, not the... <laughs> not the beautiful, lovely... <laughs> oh, God. Well, I'm screwed. <laughs> I come here for the coffee. Yeah, sure you do, buddy. Sure you do. <laughs> I imagine a lot of guys are just driving up, getting coffee, and throwing it out the window. <laughs> they yeah, drink coffee. They don't drink coffee. Because <laughs> it's cheap. You just see people making that U-turn you're not supposed to make. Even coffee cups out the window. There's a huge puddle of coffee in the parking lot with a bunch of cups around it. God, <laughs> drive through it, splashing everywhere. As they're paying for it, you see a Starbucks in the cup holder. <laughs> it's like, holy crap, this is so much cheaper yeah. than a strip club. I'll take that. Here's your coffee, sir. Keep it. Two dollars and I out. get to see that? <laughs> I come here for the coffee. <laughs> come here for the coffee. I swear to you, I come here for the coffee. Please, this, please oh. don't show this on TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm in trouble. If you only knew what a mess I live with, this is my only happiness. <laughs> uh, Jeff, what's up? What's up, boys? How you doing? Hey. Hey. Jimmy, I, I need you to give me the proper welcome. Welcome to the program, Jeff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just did it. Jeff, you got to understand the show. We're yeah. rocking right now. That's right. If we were slow doing nothing, then that would eat up time, and we would love that. But right now, it's like, <laughs> get right to it. Let's go. What do you got? All right. All right. Well, uh, this whole thing's a sting operation. You walk in there, and Chris Hansen comes from behind <laughs> in the back room. I'm here for sex. Hello. Did you come here for the coffee? I swear, I just came here for the coffee. Um, we have it on uh, good authority. You came here for the size. Uh, you were looking at that girl's weren't you? Oh, I came here for the coffee. You're Chris Hansen from Dayline. I have a family and a job. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. You should have thought of that before you came to the coffee shop that shows Okay. 
You came here for some time. <laughs> you think the guys before they pull around are like just primping themselves? And like breathing like, heavy? Yeah, just trying to see how... Do, do they have the drive through like the Starbucks does? I don't know. Wait, 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 it's your order, please, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have um, just a cup of coffee. What would you like with that shirt? Um, do you like any cream or sugar? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nothing for me today, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It reminds me of the hot dog truck. Just some napkins, please. Remember the, oh, remember the hot dog truck on Long Island? Yeah. They got in a bit of trouble, uh, these two uh, go-getters. They were housewives mm -hmm. with kids, and they uh, they either bought or were renting a hot dog truck, and they were, like, uh, doing lap dances. Yeah, the they back. were giving guys lap dances and, in the hot dog truck, in the weenie wagon. And, and, and some do-gooder out there, like... Uh, Told the authority. Ratted. Who, who would snitch There's on always that? a tattletale that's going to tell, like, why would you tell in something like that? There's there's lap dance at the beginning of a hot dog truck. Who cares? Right. You go for lunch. That you're on the job or yeah. something like that. You get, grab a hot dog, and somehow you find out through word of mouth that they're giving lap dances. You toss the uh, broad a 20, and there you are, getting a lap dance. Yeah. Who's going to go, well, I have to alert the authorities. <laughs> 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 what the hell is that about? Would you uh, like a, a, a hot dog? Yes. Um, no. See, we offer... Hot um, dogs. We uh, offer, like... In our own special bun? I hot just, dog, special bun. You know, hot dog, buns, <laughs> things like that. You know, what are you, what are you getting at? Look, there's... If you come around back for 20 bucks... <laughs> why? Oh, why? I why? never... Why? <laughs> Where... Officer! Officer! <laughs> Look, I understand you probably don't want that in your neighborhood, but I, I just not, never understood the mindset of the of the guy that had to, you know, bust these situations. Had to rat it out. Yeah, the rat. <laughs> <laughs> Why I never? <laughs> oh, well, I think I... Officer! Officer! Yes, come here! Stop here, sir! Sir, there is a prostitution ring going on in the weenie truck. I No, I came for a hot dog. I know it sucks. The cops know, but now they have to do something. Now they have to do something. Oh, my God, you, oh, sir. you ass. Citizens arrest. Citizens arrest. Where You're in trouble now, ladies. There's a knowing look from the ladies as the cop walks up like, oh, yeah. I know, ladies. <laughs> a I, wink I and a nod. I have had about 100 hot dogs here, but now i got to do my job. Cop has the talk with the girls around back. I know, but now we got to do something about it. <laughs> Some guy, what can we do, ladies? I'm sorry. I know you pushed your luck. <laughs> <laughs> Some rat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Stacy real fast. Stacy, we got to take a break, but what do you got? West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, hi, how you doing? Hey, hello. Uh, I used to be a nightclub consultant, and I was consulting in a strip club, and one of the girls behind the bar got pregnant. And usually when girls get pregnant, they, they know they're, you know, they can't do their job anymore, and they just take a leave of absence or they quit. This girl actually stood up and said that uh, we had to find a job for her, and we had to keep her employed because of labor laws. And turns out she was right, and we actually had to let her bartend behind the bar up to eight months pregnant. At a strip club? Did she say strip club? I forgot. I don't know. Oh, it it better be. If it's just the bar. Yeah, that seems a little weird. Yeah, I mean. Boy. You kind of don't want to look at pregnant women when you're at a strip club. Unless you're saying that fetish or something. The bartender at the strip club is a weird phenomenon. I always find that weird. They got to dress kind of scantily clad, but they never take their clothes off. And it's an odd thing. They're the prudes. They're the prudes of the strip club. <laughs> the of the strip club. They like wear very revealing stuff, but they never take it all off. They go home and write in their tire. Yeah. <laughs> never get a buyback either. Strip club. It only happened to me once, <laughs> and it was because of who I was with. What's a buyback? Like if you're buying drinks and they go, hey, this one's on me. Yeah. You just don't get that. Let's say I. Yeah, the girl at the strip club behind the bar is the one saying, I'm no sex object. Look where you're working. Look at where you're working. Let's say hi to Ryan. Ryan? Hey there, Ryan. Hey. Ryan? 
just want to say that Anthony's on fire today. And ah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that put needs, me out. That needs to be acknowledged. Oh my God! <laughs> Thank God the fire department's here. <laughs> put me out! I'm on fire. Uh, let's say hi to. Uh, I don't even want to say the name. Buffalo, what a check hack. it in. Buffalo, check it in. <laughs> Buffalo. Hey, Buffalo. Yeah, it's Ramonita. Ramonita. <laughs> All right. Yes. We're going back to the name thing, obviously. What's up? Well, my last name's Cologne, but it's spelled C O L O N. So if you. All right, hold on, 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 You certainly can say this. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, because they could they could make they could do it themselves at home. We love when they could do it themselves at home. So your oh. first name is Ramanita. Ramanita Cologne. Yes. All right, we understand. Just say it very fast. Right. Not That's it. We got it. And okay. it sounds <laughs> sounds a little dirty. <laughs> Why would anyone name their 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 kid that if their last name was Cologne? Cologne. Ramanita. Spelled Ramanita. Ramidi. Ramadina. And if you say it fast... What's wrong with Stacy in that case? Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, What's really? wrong with Sue? <laughs> right. <laughs> what, the parents couldn't help themselves? <laughs> or how about just impacted? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we uh, we take a break. Right. Jim Norton's going to be in uh, Nashville. You leaving today, Jimmy? Yeah, and I'm at the Stress Factory next week at Memorial Day, Thursday through Sunday in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Very, very cool. It's Opie and Anthony.